first uh, USC Media Day, but uh, are you excited for fall camp starting tomorrow? Super excited. It's uh, going to be a combination of all the work we've been putting in this whole off season and uh, ready to go and get on the field and, and uh, actually play some ball and get with the guys and form that brotherhood and um, just get after it. Ready for season. How would you feel like spring ball went for you? Uh, it was good. It started a little slow and I uh, just learned the playbook and getting used to it new system but I think I picked it up towards the end and uh, I think the whole unit as a, as a whole defensively uh, looked great at the end of spring ball so we're just looking to bring the momentum on into this uh, fall camp period and on to the season. What was uh, the kind of summer workouts and stuff for you like how, how did that go? Uh, you know, Coach Wiley is great his whole staff is uh, phenomenal and uh, they, did, they do a great job every day being here for us um, being available for us whenever we need them. Uh, the program was just it was, Fantastic, it's the best of, I've been around. Uh, and so I'm in the uh, best shape of my life um, as a result of this program that we have here uh, with Coach Wiley and his staff. So I can't can't say enough to them. Kudos for what they're playing, what they do uh, every day in here. The consistency rate really just shows up um, with all of us, how we look and how much faster we are, and um, just stuff like that. Did you have any specific goals for your summer workouts, like getting, uh, you know, Adding weight, losing weight, or anything like that? Or? Um, so I was at, I stayed about the same weight. Um, just really like kind of shaping that weight was my goal into a, into a better, more functional mass. Um, so I think I did that, um, just dropping body fat percentage and things like that, gaining more lean muscle. Um, so I'm at about 275 now, um, which is what I was at in the spring. It just looks a lot better, I think. So. I'm excited to go out there and see how it feels in the field. What's the chemistry like in that room? A lot of new faces on the defensive line, yeah. uh, you know, there. Uh, chemistry is, uh, I think it's pretty good. Uh, we all get, get along together and pretty tight. And obviously, you know, that'll take some more steps as Paul Camp gets rolling. Um, we start practicing with each other and start, you know, going to war with these guys. It'll start getting tighter and tighter. So, um, but right now it's, it's pretty good. Everybody's uh, pretty fun with each other and we all, we all laugh and have jokes at one another so it's it's pretty fun room to be around do you have any kind of team bonding stuff over the summer like uh, some guys went paintball and some guys played top golf anything that you guys did yeah we or? did we did all those things and we did uh the, we did one on the yacht and there's okay. other other cool things coach riley and the staff put on for us to get together and talk outside of the building and you know as much as we're together here in this building working out it's, it's nice to get outside and, and uh, bond with each other not in this this setting you know what i mean the reversal guy, what spots do you think you're going to invest in or are going to be playing the most? Um, I'm just honestly, I'm happy to do whatever the staff asks me to do. Uh, I've been playing both outside and inside, so uh, wherever they see a, a need and uh, wherever I can help out is what I want to do for the team. So, has been an adjustment going inside? Um, I thought it was going to be more of an adjustment. Honestly, I haven't played there since 2019, um, which is my first year playing at Purdue. Um, but it came on pretty naturally and uh. I, I liked the way I felt in there. Um, it was pretty seamless. Um, so I think Coach Noah does a great job um, coaching us up on everything, every little detail, and I, I just try to absorb as much as that as possible. I kind of just think of myself as a sponge, and whatever he has to say, I kind of just soak it up and try to apply it the next day out there on the practice field. With that roll inside, what's the main, the main responsibility as you see it? Uh, create penetration, make plays, um, be productive. That's basically what Coach Grinch wants. As, as the defense, well, you know, um, with, with Bear Alexander coming in, what's been your first impression of him? So much is expected of him kind of right away. Oh, yeah, super explosive guy. He's got, he's got some pop to him. Um, excited to get the pads on and see how Bear does. Um, but just a guy that works hard in here, and um, I think he's ready to play football. Obviously, coming into your new system, what's it been like playing coach with your defense so far? Uh, I love it. It's, uh, it's a lot different than the defense I came from, uh, which is a lot more, you know, hold your point. Um, kind of just control your gap. And this defense is a lot more, you know, go make plays, go be productive, um, create havoc in the backfield. Um, so it took some adjustment just from technique, little technique things that I had kind of instilled in me from my years at Purdue. But um, it's been it's been great uh, shaking that off and trying to create a new mentality for myself and um, for the whole defensive front. Just getting getting the backfield and creating plays is going to be huge for us. Obviously, there's a coaching change for you in the um, well, my time at Purdue was great. I loved it every moment of it. Um, it was really uh, crucial for me as a person growing. Um, so I, I love Purdue, and I'm thankful for every moment I had there. Um, but honestly, I just wanted something different. And um, uh, this is the best opportunity for me with Coach Nero. I think he's the best coach in the country. 
at this position. And um, with this strength staff, the spotlight here in LA, I think it's a, a great spot to come and, and do the best you can and have a good year and see where we can go for the next level. What do you got the mustache for now? Justin gave the mustache for and he shaved it. So is there an obligation that there's a pass to be at least one player with a mustache? <laughs> not that I know of. I'm not, I'm not sure about any rule like that. Um, <laughs> But I will rock it, though. I'll, I'll keep it going strong for the team. That's what's needed of me. <laughs> what is it about new style that makes him the best coach in the world? I mean, just like when I came in on my visit, it was just like he immediately felt like family. Uh, he makes that, that atmosphere, uh, you know, and it, it creates that trust and that bond um, between player and coach. That's it's pretty rare. Honestly, I, I've never seen it at, at this level. Um, so that's, pre that's a pretty cool thing. And then he just, like I said, the details and – Everything he notes on film and just the different styles of play that he can teach you is it's just next level. You transferred you know, some level of expectation of what you you know what do you expect when you got to USC. Anything kind of surprise you or different than what you thought it would be when you got here? Uh, I think just the overall culture of the team. I mean, coming in as their first year last year and coming in, I didn't know what to expect. But after that visit, um, Coach Riley and you know, Coach Grange, Coach Nua, they. They kind of lay down the culture, and um, it's, you really feel that brotherhood when you're on this team in this locker room. Everybody just wants to, to be better and better every day and um, go out there and compete. So um, that, was, that was the most thing that was surprising for me is how well along the culture was for such a new staff at USC. Yeah. Your, your defensive back, I mean, your defensive line room, I mean, a lot of new faces. You feel like the culture has been kind of established there too just with a lot of new faces uh in that room right now uh, i think fall camp is going to be a big testing ground for us uh we're gonna have to go out and prove it in fall camp um so i think we're all excited for that test and that challenge um and that like i said being together for these three weeks it really brings you all closer together you have no choice but to get close because you're here all day so um i think that's going to be great for us and great moving forward into the season well, I know uh, last year um, they had some struggles late in games. Um, I think Coach Wiley, I mean, just as an approach from Coach Wiley on upwards to the defensive coaches, I think it's just a more, like you said, sense of urgency to, to uh, be the best we can be every day and uh, go out and lay it out there on the field every day. Like, the most effort you can give, the execution's got to be better. Um, it's just little things, little things like that add up. And if we do that every day, you know, we can be a pretty, pretty stout defense. So I think everybody's just um, on the same mission of just you know, being the best we can every day in uh, staffing days. What is your actual size, I believe? Um, six five, two seventy five. Is that where you'd like to play? At? Yeah, that's that's what I like to play. I'm gonna go out here and see how it feels. First couple of days of camp, but uh, playing inside and moving outside, I think I can be um, pretty variable at that weight and that size. And that size. So, uh, how much you played at last season? In your former college, did you play at 275? Or? I was 275. Um, but like I said earlier, I, it was kind of a different weight. Honestly, it was. Um, I'm in the best shape of my life right now, and uh, I think I'm a lot more lean muscle on me, and uh, a lot less fat. So. I'm excited to see what that, that's going to be about in the field. It's going to be, it's going to be cool. When you came out here, did you have any family out here besides the attraction of USC football? Relatives, anything that... Uh... No, it's no no family, no relatives. Um, it was really just coming out here because I thought it was the best opportunity for me um, to play here and the um, best opportunity for me for the next level to get a look at me. So I thought it was... Uh, Great opportunity to come so out have you been to LA before you came to SC? Never been to California in my life <laughs> before I got here. Well, it's a big state. <laughs> yeah. Sure Southern is. California I, especially is different than Northern California. That's what I hear. Yes. Well, you'll find that out. Um, question. What do you like about Southern California? Is there particular the beaches, amusement parks, mountains? Have you had a chance? Uh, I mean, I got to go to some beaches this summer. and I mean, they're, they're great, phenomenal. Um, got to go to some concerts. So that was really fun. A lot of acts coming out here to, to LA to perform. Um, the food is great. I like to eat. So uh, trying new new cuisines is always uh, on the list for me. So uh, just stuff like that. It's pretty cool living in a big city. You got all those opportunities. Yeah.
for some of those struggles last year defensively, was that an attraction to you in saying, hey, I can come in and help him? Was that kind of a pitch from the coaches? Um, I don't know about an attraction. I, I necessarily, I, I just saw this as the best opportunity for me to come in and play and uh, to develop under a guy like Coach Nua. Um, what he had to say on my visit, it was just uh, where he could see me like becoming as a player, and uh, I really liked that. I've, I've been always on this uh, this journey just to improve myself as much as possible, um, and I feel like under him, with his guidance, um, that's that's where I'll be the best I can be. Does it help you guys going against the Ivan Trevor in practice every day? How does that help? Uh, well, you know, he's a special talent for sure. Uh, everybody knows that around here and in the country. So it's really cool to see him display that every day in practice. Um, some, some plays are just like, wow. I mean, it's just it's special sometimes. But yeah, I mean, going against an elusive quarterback is always it's good for you in practice because it makes you strain that much harder and uh, go that much harder to get to him. And when you get there, it makes it that much more sweet. Um, have that sack in practice. Is it frustrating at all? Like when you maybe you get a hand on them? Like, um, I wouldn't say it's frustrating. I think it's uh, you're always cautious around him in practice. You don't want to be um, ripped for touching him too much. <laughs> um, I had a little incident in the spring and he was rolling out and he threw it away and I was running full speed. I couldn't stop. I kind of just hugged him. I was like, oh, it's <laughs> just the hug both up. But uh, so stuff like that. But it's never really. Uh, uh, a thing where you're, I don't know, I kind of forgot where I was, where I was at. But yeah, it's just really cool going with some practice every day. There's always been some criticism of your area teams just being a little softer, if you will. Mm -hmm. What have you kind of seen going against that through the spring? How did it kind of compare to last year's sort of conference season? Um, so they read, I mean, I don't know about softer. They run different type of uh, run schemes than most teams in the country. They run a lot of counter. And, um, power it's a lot more gap scheme stuff um, so that's a little different especially in the spring um, they didn't really have a lot of tight end depth so there's a lot of two back sets and that's that's a little different than you get uh, usually and obviously in the big ten it's it's more especially the big ten west more hard nose more i formation steps pro style offenses so um, definitely different but uh it's nothing i can't adjust to i've seen almost every type of offense in my, my years of playing so um yeah it's, it's cool going against these guys in practice and, Definitely not soft. I mean, how would you compare against Michigan last year? So they made the playoffs. So like, how close is that offense? Why? How close is that offense to what you saw last year? Uh, they're they're pretty stout up front. The O line, our O lines, it's a pretty good unit. Um, Michigan, obviously, different style. Like I said, more pro style, um, more play action, um, zone zone blocking. But uh, yeah, they're they're pretty close to that. I mean. The explosiveness of this offense is definitely way more than Michigan's offense, I would say. Um, just a big play factor. Um, but definitely just different type of styles of offense. It's kind of hard to compare. Uh, but they're talent-wise, they're right there with them. So you don't anticipate any issues next year in the Big Ten? I mean, you guys are pretty wide open there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, no, I don't foresee any issues. I think they're be competitive in any conference they go to. So. Um, especially with Coach Riley leading the, leading the ship and um, the staff they have here in place. I think there's no limits on the Big Ten what they can do in that conference. Did you check out Big Ten media days at all the last couple of days? Or uh, I saw a couple things um, on, on my timeline and whatnot, but no, I didn't really read too much into it. I'm kind of focus on the Pac-12 now. Yeah. <laughs> How's the adjustment been from the, from the kind of like philosophy at Louisiana to Los Angeles, California? Um, it hasn't been too bad. I'm from near Chicago, so okay. it's kind of similar to me. It's a big city. It's just um, you know you learn to stay in your own lane and kind of just do whatever you want to do, but just don't get in, uh, in trouble doing different things. So kind of just do whatever you want and go and get some get some food, and going back and hanging out. But nothing nothing big adjustment wise. I'm here for a job and I'm here to uh, to compete and win a championship. So there's nothing that can really distract me from that. Talking to Solo a few minutes ago, and you, said you guys lift together, uh, lift together. Mm -hmm. What is talk about Solo and what he brings and based on how you guys you know, work with each other? Uh, you know, Solo is a, a great guy. Um, coming in here, he was one of my first friends on the team, so our bond's pretty tight right now. Um, he's just he's an intense dude. Um, he's about his work. When he gets on the field, he kind of kind of flips a switch and becomes a different animal. So um, I'm excited to go out there and. 
play with them this year, and it's going to be fun. I think we're going to do a lot of special things. So are you guys like an opposite attract type of thing, similar <laughs> personalities? Um, I don't know about opposites attract. I think he was just he was a nice guy in the, the first couple of days I got I got here, and we kind of just clicked. Um, we came pretty close after after I came here. You know, coming to a new team, it's just different. You know, I've been in the same spot for five years, so coming to a different locker room and all new faces and everything. It was, it was challenging for the first couple weeks. I didn't really feel at home. Um, but after some of the guys opened up their arms and you know, I got in with them, it was, it was, it was really cool and special. So. And I'm sure you can ask this before, but actually you were at Purdue for five years. So what, what, what makes you say, you know what, I'm going to leave this situation. It's a great situation. <laughs> well, um, it was kind of just the best opportunity for me to get a uh, spotlight to the NFL, if I'm being honest. And, um, Coach Nua, like I said, he's a, he's a pretty special dude. Um, the way he develops players and his track record speaks for itself. Um, so I thought that, that was the best opportunity I had to uh, become the best version of myself. Were there other schools you were considering besides Coach Nua? I had a lot of, I mean, the transfer portal is it's crazy. Um, <laughs> I got in there, I kind of, I was kind of teetering whether just going for the draft or um, coming back for another year. And I just threw my name in the portal just to see what happened. And, I mean, a ton of schools, I mean, I had, Alabama's and TCU and I mean I had a bunch of a bunch of different schools but this is the best opportunity for me and once I got here I was I was done looking this is the best spot for me so when you get that kind of feedback is it, maybe I should consider the NFL now if you see all the all that kind of interest from I think I did that kind of the opposite for me I kind of wanted to come back and really prove myself at a big stage like this um, and that way that would look better for the for the NFL and really just boost my draft stock. Um, I, I had a, a good year last year at Purdue. I think there's a, just a lot of stuff I can clean up and polish up this year and put on film. Um, so that's really my goal is just to just to be the best and uh, clean up all those little things on film that Coach Newest pointed out to me. So.